Hi, I'm Adam, and today we're going to be explaining nuclear power plants. There's been a lot in the news recently about the Fukushima power plant in Japan, and how the, the plant is, as they've been saying, melting down. Melting down. Melting down. But the question is, what is a meltdown? What causes a nuclear power plant to melt down? So here, let's take a look. This is my stove. The stove is currently hot. Very, very, very hot. Imagine that this stove is nuclear fuel. This is something like plutonium or thorium. Like my stove, in a nuclear power plant, these this heat is to boil water or to turn water into super hot steam, like so. So why does a nuclear power plant undergo a melt melting down? It's a good question. Here's what happens. This tea kettle has a lot of water in it. It's pretty heavy. So that water, as I showed you before, that water will go onto the supply, onto that nuclear power supply that is then used to heat it. It's used to heat it. But the thing is, Eventually, that water will run out. And when that water runs out, you're going to be left with nothing more than a tea kettle of bare metal on top of heat, just like this. And you can see that there's still water in there. But eventually, there won't be. And what will happen is that metal will start to change shape. It's going to start to get weaker and it's gonna melt down. And when that happens, here it's not a big deal. I have a plastic handle. If you have a, nu in a nuclear power plant, you don't really have plastic handles. So what do you do? You just have to add more water. To add more water. Just add more water. 